Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is a segment where we show you a hot new floor plan that's available on the market today. I'm standing inside a brand new Jayco J Flight 240 RBS. It stands for rear bath with a slide. This thing makes an excellent use of space in such a compact model. It's just under 5,700 pounds dry, and it's a really smart floor plan for couples or solo travelers for a few reasons. Let's get started in the back, that RB, the rear bath. I wanna show you this because it is absolutely huge. This thing is Loads of counter space, lots of prep space in the morning, a big mirror on the wall. We've got GFCI outlets, a fan up above, storage in the form of this upright closet with shelving on the wall. And look at this shower. Even me at six foot three has loads of room in here. I can move my elbows around, turn. I think my elbows even fit this way without interacting with the shower enclosure and they've even put that on a curved rack just to give you even more space inside this bathroom is huge i absolutely love it out here in the living room this big slide sits directly across from our entertainment center and we have theater seating in it along with storage and part of our kitchen the theater seating has recliners has spots to keep your cups it even has a little bit of storage inside and it comes with a table that folds down and can be put in front of this. If, so if you did decide that you wanna have dinner inside, you can. That table can be moved outside and used under the awning for various different things as well. I think that's kind of smart in lieu of a dinette. Our entertainment center features a spot to store a nice big flat screen TV, some storage down below, and then we've got an IRV Technologies head unit here. This is Bluetooth capable, so we can run our tunes through it, and that can also run our outside speakers. That puts us into the kitchen. We have the L-shaped kitchen here. We've got a typical three burner stove with an oven beneath, microwave up high, lots of storage all the way around in the form of cabinetry. It has the Standard Jayco double basin sink. We've got a big high faucet here though, so filling up pots and pans is pretty easy to do. Across from that, we have our Norcol refrigerator here. These things are pretty awesome. The modern ones are 12 volt. We've kind of gone away from the gas electric. They have more space inside as a result and they cool down faster. Loads of space in terms of cabinetry here. This is all your pantry space that you could possibly need. And then behind me, we have our bedroom. The bedroom features a decent sized bed. We've got closets on either side. We can walk around it. On this side, we have shelving. On the other side, we have hanging space. So they've kind of divided it up. They put in a nice big shelf up top here with some mood lighting that you can cut on and off. The door is a big sliding door, so it's not gonna swing in and out, getting in the way of things. And then there's also storage here under the bed in the form of the strut assisted lift. You can see we've got some extra goodies from Jayco and our owner's bag there. This is wired for solar. So if you did want to install it, that's available. And in the bedroom, we have a spot to hook up a TV. They've given us the mount and the mounting plate. I think that's really cool. But what's really neat about this is that there's an additional mount outside already on the wall that this can hook to. That's pretty cool. Now, before we head out there and check that out though and some of the outside features, I wanna show you something up front. That is this wonderful closet here. This could 
double as all kinds of space. It has those deep inset shelves there so we can stand up a vacuum cleaner, brooms, swiffers, other things you might need. They even put coat hooks on the wall so it acts as a coat closet when you come inside. As far as controlling the unit, we don't have a single panel. Rather, we have a series of switches because there is only one slide and one awning on this. So easy access to lights and pump controls right here as soon as we come through the door. Speaking of which, let's run the slide in and see what it looks like with that. There it is. The slide is in. So with it in, it is pretty tight here. I can walk down the aisle though. And I do get access to that front closet, the bathroom. I can get into this cabinetry here. Look at that. I can even get into my refrigerator just fine, especially the freezer, stove, microwave. All that stuff is accessible, but getting into the bedroom, probably not going to happen for most folks. All in all, I'd say this is a pretty great slide-in score. I can get to almost everything but the bedroom. Let's jump outside and check out some of the features out there. The great features with the 240 RBS don't stop on the inside. Here on the patio side of the RV, right up front, we have an awesome amount of pass-through storage. That's a lot of volume for such a small camper. It has a big electric awning that pretty much runs the length of it and extends out at the touch of a button. It's LED lit and this comes out and over that TV mount that I talked about inside. So they provide us with this mount for this backer plate for your TV. This mounts in the bedroom as well as on the side of the camper. That means that once you have your flat screen, you can easily pop it out of the bedroom, pop it in out here, and we've got the satellite and electric right below it. So hooking it up is a breeze. Two outside speakers are right above that. And that brings us over here to our running gear where we have Goodyear tires. Everybody loves and respects that name. It's one of those things that is not always seen in the industry, but it's something that Jayco is still doing. Our entry has the step above solid steps. These are great for adjusting on uneven terrain and making for a solid entry getting in and out of the camper. And at the back corner, we have an outside kitchen. I love this thing. It has a small electric refrigerator for holding drinks and some snacks. We've got storage out here, shelving in a drawer, and they've given us a LP Capital griddle. So you don't have to stink up the inside of the camper making bacon or fish or whatever else you want to fry up out here. My only criticism with this is that the hose for the LP on it is a little bit short. I think that could be overcome pretty easily though. At the very back of the camper, we're set up for a rear mounted camera. That's part of the Furion system. And there's even side mounted cameras that can show the side of the camp camper when you're going down the road. We'll take a look at that in just a little bit. Also back here, we have our black tank flush, a great feature. We have a spare tire that's bumper mounted. Our city water connection is right here next to an outside shower. That's great for rinsing off bikes or other things. And then coming around the corner, we have our main shoreline power connection. This is 30 amp service. Uh, it only has one AC up top. I don't know if I mentioned that inside, but it is worth mentioning. And there's satellite and cable in right here as well. So if you are in a park that provides that, running a piece of coax to the stand is really easy, easy to do. Down below, we have our sewage dump station. Our slide is an electric rack and pinion slide. These things are super reliable. We see them all over the industry. They've been used quite a lot. And then if you notice down low at our four corners, we have manual jacks. So that's kind of nice. And that brings us back up to the front. Remember earlier, I mentioned that we have side view cameras that we can install here. These happen on the marker lights. Again, it's all pre-wired, so it's easy to do. And at the very front, we have our two propane bottles, electric tongue jack, and battery station. This is a super cool little camper that I feel like would be great for couples or solo travelers. It's an awesome floor plan that's full of 
all sorts of cool little features, loads of storage for its size. I think it's one of those that you do have to see in person to really appreciate it, which you can do at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. You can also check it on, out online at southernrv.com. If you like what you saw here, please subscribe to our channel. We're putting out lots of great content all the time. And as always, guys, until next time, happy camping. Thank you.